video, we will explain the operation of the Panasonic camera that we use in the Chafee TV studio. If you have not done so, please view the video on the studio pedestal operations before beginning this one. To see the monitor properly, loosen the knob just below the monitor, adjust it to your height, then tighten the knob again. To focus the camera, first zoom in all the way on the subject. Operate the zoom control with your right thumb. You can adjust the rate of zooming by turning the zoom speed knob just below the zoom control with your forefinger. When focusing on a face, make sure the eyes are sharp. When the image is in focus, zoom out to the proper framing as directed. The image will stay in focus. To pan the camera, first make sure the pan lock is off. Then move the pan handles to the left or right. The lens will move in the opposite direction. To tilt the camera, first make sure the tilt lock is off. Then move the pan handles up or down. The lens will move in the opposite direction. This is the framing for a long shot. The subject's feet and head are in the frame. The desired image should be inside the white action safe box on the camera monitor. A medium long shot cuts the subject off above the knees. This is also called a cowboy shot because it includes the hands and the arms for a quick draw. A medium shot is from the waist up. Make sure you have adequate headroom. For a medium close up, the bottom of the frame is at the bust line. Close-up includes the head and the top of the shoulders. A big close-up shows just the face. Cut off the top of the head, not the chin. An extreme close-up shows just a portion of the face, such as one eye or some other detail. Too much headroom leaves the subject in the middle of the frame with too much space above. Too little headroom cuts off the top of the head. Compose for proper headroom. When framing a face, allow space for the subject to look into. This is called nose room. To dolly the camera, dolly in toward the subject. Dolly out away from the subject. Remember that when you change the camera to subject distance, you must adjust focus. This will take some practice because you will need to turn the focus control the right direction during the shot. To truck the camera, move the entire pedestal to the left or right. Make sure you are clear of the cables when you dolly or chuck the camera, or ask someone to pull the cables for you. For an arcing shot, move the pedestal in an arc around the subject, maintaining the camera to subject distance. To pedestal the camera, make sure the pedestal lock is off. Then use the pedestal wheel to raise or lower the camera. Keep the lens level with the subject's eyes. This move will also take some practice. In all cases, remember the rule of thirds. Frame the shot so the point of interest is on one of the intersections of the grid. When operating the camera during a show, Follow the director's instructions and maintain focus. Assume you are on air at all times and make sure your moves are slow and smooth. Rehearse complex moves ahead of time. When you are finished operating, secure the camera before you step away from it. Lock the pan and tilt locks and at least two of the pedestal wheels. That's it. When you can do all of these things without coaching, you'll be qualified to operate the TV studio camera.